All right, if you're watching this video right now, there's a good chance that you're wondering what Greeley, Colorado is all about. Well, guys, I'm here to dive in and give you everything that you need to know in regards to Greeley, Colorado. So here we go. All right, welcome back to the channel, you guys. You are watching Living in Denver Metro North with your Colorado real estate family, Pete Sweeney, and Chelsea is uh, vacant from the scene today. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in, and before we do so, let me go, uh, go ahead and do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you're notified every single time that we're putting out new videos. We approach our videos as natives, as a family, and as your local real estate experts licensed, of course, in the state of Colorado. What we like to do, guys, is really like to give you all the info that you need to know in regards to moving into the Colorado area. Our main focus is the Denver Metro North, but that doesn't mean that we know the rest of the of uh, Colorado. So uh, let's go and dive in right after we check out the Skies View. All right, so if you're watching this video, you have somewhat of an idea. I'm guessing you've probably Googled it or something on some sense where Greeley, Colorado is. And I think that's the first part that I'm really gonna cover is where is Greeley? How far is it from Denver? How far is it from other major cities? It is a larger, small city is how I would explain to it. But essentially what Greeley is, it's in the Northwest part of Colorado. It's probably a good 30 minutes from Cheyenne, uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, you're looking at about a 45 minute drive over to Fort Collins hour to Loveland and you're looking at probably an hour depending on traffic maybe a little bit over an hour to get to Denver so that's kind of where Greeley at it's kind of on the outskirts it's on the east side of I-25 which is our main highway that rolls through the state of Colorado not too far though like I said it's it's really not that bad the good thing though about that location is the costs are so much lower since so it is on the east side of I-25 so let's uh, go ahead and break into the house prices right now I mean you're looking at buying a house in the 300s and if you're comparing houses in Greeley Colorado as compared to Denver Colorado you're gonna get a good hundred sixty thousand dollar rebate on that because Denver is so much more expensive in regards to housing as uh, far as Greeley, Colorado. When I dive into that, what I'm really talking about is the median price point of all houses, which we're talking about single family, uh, attached, so you got your condos and your townhouses. We're gonna group them all into one and we're getting that median price point and that's the main one that we're really gonna dive into. So like I said, it's kind of out there a little bit. It was actually started up as like a little farming town, a little livestock town, and that kind of segues into the next thing that you need to know about Greeley is, it's kind of stinky, all right? And so we have a, lot, a ton of livestock, a ton of, ton of cattle in the area with that you're going to get the breeze coming in from the cattle and where they're staying at and Greeley does get stinky sometimes it is kind of known for that Greeley, anytime you kind of mention to anyone in the denver metro area like oh yeah Greeley, the stinky place it does have that right and i've heard that uh, from locals who actually live up there that it does go away after time and something that you kind of get used to which i mean i don't know if you really can get used to that often but it's also not stinky all the time but it's something to know if you're really looking to move into the Greeley area it's something that you really got to know right you don't want to move somewhere and then find a holy crap this place stinks why did I decide to come here right so I'm uh, glad I could look out for you on that so another thing that you really need to know about Greeley Colorado is it's home to UNC uh, University of Northern Colorado the University of Northern Colorado Bears um, that yeah they have a great university up there 
It's a, you know, it's it's not our, one of our largest universities in the state of Colorado. It's not a CU or a CSU, but it's a great uh, university for the arts, right? Actually, my uh, my brother-in-law went there, uh, got his graphic des uh, graphic design degree. Um, he said it's a great college, right? It's a great smaller college, which is uh, it's kind of nice having that university in your town, but your town's also not taken over by the university like these others. You know, Boulder and Fort Collins with their large universities, it's definitely taken over quite a bit by all the college students. For UNC, it's it's got a little bit of a different vibe. Of up there even though they do have that university and a big reason is probably because it is a little bit smaller so yeah like i said i mean that's one thing that you really got to look into is like so you're gonna have a ton of college kids there during school time summertime a few of them hang out you know not too many but anyone any of them that want to stay up there that's that's kind of where they're where they're chilling at right all right cool so let's keep diving in let's uh figure out what else that you guys want to know about Greeley. one thing i can tell you right now is it's probably your largest little town feeling right they have a lot of great events they got their like their Greeley Stampede, which is something that, uh, they, uh, a great stampede that they hold uh, over the Fourth of July. Um, they got all these these uh, different little festivals. Uh, they got they got like their Friday Fest up there. Um, they got a lot of cool things to really bring the community together. So it's great that you know they still have that larger city aspect, but can still hold those those smaller city um, gatherings is is what a lot of people kind of look for. So you kind of have the best of both worlds, right? You're not so small that it's it's the type of city where I've mentioned this before in a Thornton video where you know. Know, everyone knows who everyone is everyone knows everyone's business what's going on who's marrying who who's dating who so you kind of have this small town without all the the nosiness of the small town all right cool all right cool so let's let's keep on rolling uh what's what else do you need to know about Greeley Colorado well being in the state of Colorado you're gonna get on average 300 days of sunshine throughout the entire year that is huge and with that guess what ton of recreation right you get to do a lot of hiking fishing there's some hunting in Greeley and if you want to hit the mountains I mean you got Loveland like I said which is about an hour drive away you got Fort Collins and those are both at the base of the Rocky Mountains so if you really want to go up there you know and do that kayaking and all that mountain life that a lot of people take advantage of in the Denver metro area it's seriously right there but outside of that there's a lot of great community sports like I said we have that small town feel right and so with that you get all the the leagues you get the baseball leagues you get all the cool stuff you know and I remember growing up as a kid man I loved baseball I did the, the little the little leagues and you know getting to figure out which color you were that time and stuff I was I think I was blue and red were my two and my dad coach and all that uh, so I digress going brought me back a little bit right talking about these little leagues and all the different little things it gets you going and like I said we approach all of our videos as families because you're coming here as a family what do you what are you looking to do right what, what's going to be there available for your kids and this is something that's super important because some of these larger cities although they do have like the the little leagues and all the all the different sports and stuff like that for our kids it's not as tight-knit in my sense as i would say a smaller town and so it's nice kind of having that smaller town so you still see the same parents you still see the same families the same kids who are playing ball every year or maybe balls on it maybe it's soccer you know maybe it's uh flag football so just figuring out which sports or whatever activities that your kids or your family wants to really partake in Greeley is so great about that because it's very central so let's say that you're not at the base of the mountains but I mean that's why you're getting a cheaper house right just because you're not at the base of the mountains you're gonna be paying a lot less but you still have access you know quick hour drive and you got the mountains right there let's say you don't want to drive you could go do the hiking you could do the biking you could do the the kayaking in the rivers you know so it's super cool that you have the access and also another thing too is I don't know about you but our family we like to camp a lot you know we got a camper we like going out to the lakes and stuff and so we like going up to Glendo in Wyoming it's it's probably from our house I'd say it's probably about an hour and a half drive if you're up in Greeley you're looking at like 45 minutes to an hour to a great reservoir so if you have a boat if you have a camper you want to go camp and all that stuff it's super close to all that stuff and and Cheyenne actually offers up a lot of great uh, activities as well too so it's like Greeley without having to live inside of of the big activities you're still so close to it that you can go out and do it whenever you like and that's that's huge you know it's great that you have that accessibility and then you can also uh, pay that that uh, smaller price point as well too all right and then and there's another thing that you really want to know about Greeley being in Colorado we are experiencing a housing shortage right now now I will tell you so we just uh, reached into August so whenever this video posts like you know right now we're at the beginning of August first week of August right now the market has slowed down quite a bit in Colorado these last couple of weeks. Um, I don't know if it's because kids are going back to school, but there is still that slight housing shortage. And coming from Denver, it has reached Greeley a little bit. There is still a little bit of a housing shortage. So that's something to know. If you're looking into moving to the area, you got to make sure that you, you hire the, the perfect realtor to help you through that. Because guess what? With the housing shortage, 
you got competition, you got all kinds of different stuff. I remember I helped, I just helped a client up there. Um, I think we looked at probably like 20 houses up there, put in three offers. The first three, it was unfortunate that we didn't get under on. Um, we lost out to cash offers, unfortunate, you know, but we did finally find them a house in Greeley. And my ultimate, like honest opinion is the one that we find is the one that was meant to be. I truly believe that when you're looking for a house, even though if you lose out on a couple, that the one that you end up in is the one that you were meant to live in. And that's that's my uh, my honest opinion for sure. So, but like I said, there's, there's a slight housing shortage and especially at those lower price points. You know, we've got Denver, the Denver metro area, it's getting pushed out, right? And so they're getting pushed out to these other communities. So I wouldn't say Greeley's experiencing it as much as some of these other uh, cities surrounding the Denver area. So like Westminster, Broomfield, um, Brighton, even Brighton, a lot of people growing up in Brighton, they'd rather have the commute down to Denver and pay the, liar, uh, the higher or the lower price point and have that commute, right? Some people are doing that from Greeley. And like I said, I had some clients, like I said, who, who moved up in Greeley just a couple months ago. Same thing. They actually, they were closer to like North Thornton, so the Northern Denver metro area, but they wanted to be up there because they could afford more house for their family, right? And that way they could take the commute, but their biggest thing was they want to be able to have a great house for their family, large enough for everyone to fit in and all that stuff. So it's like I said, Greeley is a great spot to just really raise your family, but you got to be aware of that. Although it does have those smaller activities, you know, to get to the mountains and all that stuff, you're looking at it probably about an hour drive. It all depends on what you and your family, or even as a individual, what you like to do, right? What are your priorities? We actually just did a video on downtown Denver, and here's the thing, it's like some people love being in that downtown scene. They love being near downtown, doing all the downtown festivities. If you haven't checked out the video, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, we'll throw the title in up and around here somewhere. So um, go check it out, but like I said, I mean, really, it's a great place to really get that small town feel in a city that's not so small. So, um, like I said, I highly recommend, you know, at least check it out a little bit. If you have any other questions, like I said, we are more than happy to help you out through this process, help you answer any questions, whatever it might be in regards to buying real estate in Colorado, Greeley, uh, pretty much all around the Denver metro area, right? So, like I said, we would love to do, reach out, give us a comment. If there's an area that we haven't covered for you guys yet, let us know and we'll cover it for you. We've already done about three videos for, for viewers just like you watching this video right now asking about areas and digging a little bit deeper. So we've already done that. I said, we appreciate it. We love it so much. We're so glad that you guys are watching this channel that we can provide this value for you because like I said, you don't want to move in Colorado being blind. You want to know what you're kind of moving into, what to expect, what cities look great, what cities don't look great, what you really want. So we're glad that we could kind of bring this information to make your best decision when moving into the Colorado area. So until next time, we love you. See ya. There's a good chance that you're wondering what Greeley, Colorado is all about you move here so uh, let's go ahead and go on the flip side nope all right if you're watching this video right now there's a good chance that you're wondering what all right welcome back to the channel you are watching living in denver metro north with your colorado real estate family pete and just me today pete sweeney uh chelsea's on a break so today we're going to dive in and all right welcome back to the channel you are watching living and Denver Metro North with your Colorado real estate family, Pete. And Chelsea's not with me today, but she is a Sweeney. Seven, go lay down. Go lay down.